Welcome to Make Something with me, David Petruto, and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful and easy picture frame. We're going to start off with this nice piece of coconut palm. That wood is absolutely beautiful. It's very splintery. It is not flat here. I don't own a joiner anymore, but I did make this, this sled here. I don't have a dedicated video to this sled, but I do make this sled in the walnut slab bench video. So you'll want to check that out and see how this sled works. So now that we have one edge jointed here on this coconut palm, this is going to be the face of the frame and I'm going to cut it into a couple of one inch thick strips. So I got my blade up about a quarter of an inch where I'm just going to cut a groove along here for a little inlay of some contrasting maple. Oh, geez, that's perfect. Let it flow. So now I'm going to cut the rabbit that's going to hold the artwork in here. I have my blade up about a half inch and about three eighths inch from the side here and we'll make two passes. We'll go one this way and then one this way that'll remove this piece. Here's a good safety tip right here. Your waist piece, you don't want trapped between the piece and the fence because it could shoot out and hit you in the crotch. unnecessary but I wanted to put a little bit of a chamfer on the front edge there just for a little decorative element. Use this picture frame sled that I made. I got a full video on this build down in the link below. The cool thing about this one is it has a ruler built into it. It measures the rabbit, not the outside of the frame. So I know that my artwork is 20 and a half inches wide. So I can set my stop here to 20 and a half inches, lock that down. And so I make the first cut on the left side and then the second cut on the right side, which gives me a perfect 90 degree angle. And then I'll repeat that process. They are the exact same length, thanks to the stop on the sled. So now we'll do the same thing for the side pieces. The height of my artwork was 12 inches, so I set the stop for 12, and now I have the two side pieces, which are exactly the same size. Pretty cool. It's got some sandpaper on there to keep, to keep things from sliding around. It's got the ruler, it's aluminum ruler built in, and then this little stop here. So I will, once again, I'll have a link to this build down below. Really cool jig. So here's a hot little tip when gluing up picture frames. So the end grain is gonna soak up a lot of glue. So we're just going to put a little bit of glue on there, spread it around, and just let that dry for 10 minutes. And we'll do this with all the pieces. Pro tip. Pro tip, just the pro tip. So we're just going to use a little bit of glue and tape. There are band clamps out there, ratcheting clamps, jigs to do this, which might be easier. I don't have a lot of experience with those. I just always use tape and that's always worked great for me. So now it's time to reinforce the miters here. I got my spline jig set up on my table saw here. I have a dedicated video on making this spline jig. This is great for reinforcing miters and picture frames. So I'm just gonna set it in there, clamp it down, Jed clamp it down.
Now to center the groove, I'm just gonna flip it around. And do the same thing. So now the trick is to make the splines here on the bandsaw. So I'm just gonna resaw some maple here to the thickness of the spline hole. Spline hole. Cut it just a little too thick and then kind of sand down to the final thickness. Now we'll just trace these out, cut them out in the bands. Most bandsaw entries happen after you turn the bandsaw off and the blade is still spinning. I have no idea where these statistics come from. It's just my grandpa told his son who told his son and I'll tell my son and then my son will cut his fingers off. Just gonna glue these in. No clamps, no tape, no nothing. That's a good fit. Cool. We just let that dry for a little bit. Let's not make this weird. And in the place where you live. A couple coats of shellac on there. Thin down, with about 25% denatured alcohol. I just like to thin it down so it's so it, it wipes on nice and easy. Goodness, that stuff is just beautiful. Put a little wax on there and buff it out. Buff out a nice Emilio Estevez Charlie Sheen. Or and buff it out. <laughs> Pretty happy with that finish. Three coats of shellac, coat of wax. I have another video that will be out shortly on the making of this art piece. So look for that. That'll be my next video that comes out. I do have one of these things that are the dual driver elite Logan points but uh, I'm out of the things. I'm out of the little the little guys. So. A framer's trick keeps the, keeps the dust out from getting in through the back. Now it's nice and sticky. Go get a nice clean dust free back. Put these little rubber bumpers on the bottom. Keep it off the wall just a bit. And there we go. What do you think? I want to thank my top Patreon supporters. That is Jonathan J. Katz Moses, David Ingram, Bill Deal, Megan Payne, Brian McKnight, Chad Forrester, and Timothy Allen. If you want to support me and my show, visit patreon.com slash Pachudo. I really like the way it came out. I'll post the video for the artwork up next. So when that video comes out, I'll have a link down below. If you're a woodworker, eventually you're going to make a picture frame, right? So you're probably going to want to make a bunch of them. You don't need a picture frame sled to make picture frames, but it sure does make life a lot easier. I'll have a link to that video down below. The lighter wood, the splines, and the inlay, that is maple, and then everything else is coconut palm. It is very splintery. It is very dusty when you work with it. It's nasty. We were we had to wear dust masks for a while, and we had to let the shop air out because it, uh, it definitely makes a mess when you cut it on the table saw, but it looks absolutely beautiful. Really, really happy with the way it came out. Probably got three or four splinters throughout the day. That is it, folks. I have links to the picture frame making sled, the spline jig, and other picture frames that I've made down below. I'll have links to the artwork when that video is available. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate. We'll see you next Thursday and make something.